Hey guys, this is Gentry over at Razorback Technology and we recently got a Razor Pro R in our shop and uh, wanted to show you how to use the mounting bracket that we have for our gauges. Uh, we get a lot of calls uh, about this because our brackets, uh, the hardware that we include can be a little bit confusing. So I wanted to show you how that goes on so that way you're not confused and you don't have to make any calls. So I've already taken these bolts out um, but just wanted to show you, you, all you, the easiest way is to take these four bolts out right here, two on the left and two on the right, um, and then disconnect uh, this little connector right here and this whole thing will pop right off. So. You'll just have to keep track of these bolts here. They're 10 millimeter, so just get a 10 millimeter socket and uh, remove those four bolts and it'll come out just like that. And uh, then I'll show you how the mount uh, attaches. So now that we have the gauge cluster off, uh, we have access to these three bolts on the back side of the gauge cluster. And all we need to do is, depending on which mount uh, you're mounting, we've got a left hand side and a right hand side, you'll remove, um, you'll always need to remove this top bolt, but depending on which side you do, you'll need to remove either the left or the right one. In this case, we are mounting the left hand bracket. So it's gonna be going on like this. And the brackets come with some hardware. Um, and this is what the hardware looks like. And we do get a lot of questions about these, so um, it's uh, we'll, we'll explain our reasoning behind these. So these bolts are all are going to have some spacers. Um, the one on the left and the right side is going to be this small bolt, and you're going to have this spacer that will go on there. And it actually goes on. Um, on there and then the mount and then the bolt uh, and then this one can be a little bit confusing um, we've got a long spacer and it's actually cut at an angle um, so one of these spacers are going to go on the inside and then uh, this this spacer is actually going to go um, on the other side of the mount and once we install it it'll make sense um, the way that it looks uh, but because this mount has a little bit of an angle on it, in order for it to sit flush, it's going to need um, that angled uh, spacer. So, go ahead and take these bolts out. Okay, so if I didn't explain this well enough, this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, so you've got that smaller angled spacer on the outside and then the larger spacer on the inside. And then on the uh, other side, you've got that spacer um, on the inside as well. So that way this will, like I said, sit uh, sit flush once it gets down in there because you've got these grooves in the back of that gauge cluster. And these are five millimeter um, hex key size. So. And then that'll just go right in down like that, and then you'll tighten them up. So we went ahead and tightened these down, so that's what that should look like. And this uh, should be pretty much um, one with your stock gauge cluster. So, and then we'll go ahead and install it back on the, the machine. Alright, so we have the, uh, the mount secured to the gauge cluster, and we also have that secured and the... Uh, gauge cluster uh, plugged back in and so then we'll go ahead and mount the gauge you can sit in the cockpit and make sure that it's nice and nice and straight but that's how you uh, install one of the Razer Pro XP or Pro R or Turbo R uh, mounts